Today's topic is hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis is a non-threatening medical disorder characterized by excessive sweating that is not necessarily related to heat or exercise. The excessive sweating associated with the condition usually occurs in the most active regions of perspiration, including the hands, feet, armpits, groin, and the facial area. This is due to the high concentration of sweat glands in these areas. When excessive sweating is localized, affecting only one body part, it is referred to as a primary or focal hyperhidrosis. Primary or focal hyperhidrosis may be further divided by the area affected. For example, palmoplantar hyperhidrosis is excessive sweating of the hands or feet. Axillary hyperhidrosis is the excessive sweating of the armpits, while gustatory hyperhidrosis is excessive sweating of the face or chest a few moments after consuming certain foods. When excessive sweating involves the whole body, it is referred to as a generalized or secondary hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis may also be congenital, as in present at birth, or acquired, as in developed later in life. However, most cases of hyperhidrosis tend to start during adolescence. Regardless of where it occurs, hyperhidrosis can affect and deteriorate the quality of life. People of all genders and ages can be affected by the condition. About 3% of the world's population is affected, but more than half of affected people never get diagnosed or treated for symptoms because they lack awareness and understanding about treatments available for the condition. Causes Sweating helps the body to stay and keep cool. It is perfectly natural. When the body temperature rises, the nervous system automatically triggers the sweat glands. The cause of primary hyperhidrosis is unknown, although some experts claim it is caused by overactivity of the nerves responsible for signaling the sweat glands. With anxiety or nervousness, the problem even gets worse for many sufferers. Other factors that can play a role include certain foods and drinks, caffeine, and nicotine. Primary hyperhidrosis usually has no medical cause. It may have a hereditary component, as it seems to run in families. Secondary hyperhidrosis usually results from an underlying medical condition. Conditions that can cause secondary hyperhidrosis include cancer, low blood sugar, diabetes, heart attack, nervous system disorders, thyroid problems, some infections such as HIV, malaria, tuberculosis, some medications including NSAIDs, opioids, insulin, tricyclic antidepressants, Parkinson's disease, acromegaly, menopause, stroke, spinal cord injury. Symptoms. Frequent sweating, usually unrelated to heat or exercise, clammy palms of the hand, clammy soles of the feet, noticeable sweating that soaks through clothing. Seek immediate medical help if heavy sweating is accompanied by nausea, chest pain, or lightheadedness. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical history and ask details about your sweating, such as location, localized or generalized time pattern if it happens at night, triggers if it starts when you are reminded of a traumatic event, and any other symptoms. The doctor may try to rule out any underlying condition by ordering blood, urine, or other lab tests. Sweat tests may be carried out, including iodine starch test, skin conductance or thermoregulatory sweat test, to pinpoint areas of sweating and estimate the severity of your condition. Treatment If the condition is triggered by an underlying condition, the condition is treated first. If no cause is found, the goal of treatment is to control excessive sweating. Treatment options may include Prescription antiperspirant that contains 10% to 20% aluminum chloride. Prescription medications called anticholinergics. Botulinum toxin injection. Iontophoresis. In this procedure, the hands or feet are placed in water, and then a gentle electric current is passed through it. Endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy. During this procedure, the surgeon cuts burns, or clamps the nerves that carry messages to the sweat glands. 
It is usually recommended in severe cases which have not responded to other treatments. Underarm surgery to remove sweat glands in the armpits. Laser, curatage, excision, or liposuction are some of the methods used. Certain alteration in daily activity and lifestyle may help with symptoms. Armpit shield to protect garments from sweat. Regular bathing. Shoes and socks made of natural materials. Change socks often. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.